Hello everybody. Uh, this is going to be the first video or the intro introductory video to a new series of um, uh, videos uh, that I'm going to make. Uh, so this is uh, primarily uh, a course that's made for the first uh, year uh, students in the chemical engineering department in Cairo University. Um, and this is uh, entitled the introduction the, the in organic chemistry. Um, and the, the goal of the course is not to go deeply into the inorganic chemistry because this is not our, our goal as, as engineers. Um, the goal of this course is to give the basic understandings uh, and the basic knowledge of inorganic chemistry that is essential for any chemical engineer so that in case you need to recall any information you would be able to recall it without going to textbooks or to learn something new. Um, and um, that's also, so this, this doesn't include uh, the the deep uh, understanding of the of the science of chemistry itself. Um, so um, I'm in, in this video. I'm gonna uh, answer two questions and then talk quickly about the textbook and the contents of the course. Um, so first, what's in organic chemistry? In, in, it's I think it's it's a well known thing that it is the uh, so the the uh, branch of chemistry that deals with the synthesis and behavior of inorganic um, and organometallic compounds. Uh, so um, we all know the organic chemistry; it's based on carbon, and this is the other side of the or the the rest of the elements in the periodic table, which do not include carbon. Um, and um, because organic chemistry is a very big uh, field of, of chemistry and is uh, something that people study a lot, uh, some people will get uh, a bad uh, or, or a wrong idea about the inorganic chemistry. So inorganic chemistry is uh, very, very uh, widely uh, um, used in our life. We deal with a lot of materials that are based on inorganic materials, not in, on organic materials. So. Um, you can see there are the catalysts, the pigments, the, the ceramic materials, the, uh, um, the coatings, the surfactants, and ma many other things in the medicine, the, the uh, um, stuff for agricultural uh, thing, the um, fertilizers, and you'd see all the chips that you use for, for the computers or all the electronics that we use are based on silicon, which is an organic material, the same for the um, uh, the solar cells that we use to to uh, get electricity from the sun, the cement, and there are, there are many other things that we use for that are based on inorganic uh, materials. So um, regarding the course, we will be dealing with uh, some topics. Um, again, these topics <coughs> are uh, selected to serve the goal of the course. So we will first start with the atomic structure and start to know how did we know the atomic structure. Uh, it's going to be kind of more of a historical thing. Uh, we will go through the, the main milestones that um, uh, the scientists <coughs> passed by starting from knowing nothing to knowing all the information that we know right now. And then we will talk about the periodic table and the periodicity of the elements. How did we figure out that this is the way we we arrange the elements in the periodic table this way? And this is going to be main dependent on the information that we are going to get from the first part. And then from the periodic table, we will get to know uh, the properties of materials. And from the properties of materials, we will be able to get the uh, information that we need to know how the chemical bonds form and what chemical reactions take place between the materials or the, the elements in the periodic table. And then we will talk about the basic chemical calculations to understand how the, uh, the inorganic chemistry can be applied in our real life and how uh, this is, uh, um, can, can be converted into calculations and equations and to get some um, output that we use in industry or in, in any application that you use, you, you need to. And then we will talk about one last thing, which is the equilibrium and solution, um, because in, in many cases we deal with solutions and salts and water, and we need to understand how we reach the equilibrium. Uh, the last point I'm going to cover here is the textbook. So uh, 
you, you would find a lot of textbooks in um, available online or uh, as, as hard copies I um, um, I think they're all gonna cover the same things with from different perspectives but the topics will be the same um, it's it's mainly talking about or all the textbooks talk about the atomic structure they talk about the periodic table the periodicity the reactions and the properties of each uh, column or uh, or group in the periodic table however I, I prefer this book because it gives more information uh, it goes deeply into into the information and it uh, it gives more information about the, the the historical background of the things. So it talks about the, the history of, of the science. Um, and I didn't see this in other um, textbooks. They, they talk directly that uh, this, this is already a uh, well-known and approved uh, fact. So we're going to talk about it directly without going into the details of the history. So that's why I, I like this textbook. It's called Modern in Organic Chemistry by G.F. Uh, Liptroth. So um, um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to walk through the, the, uh, the topics that we covered here from this textbook. So this is all for now, and I'm going to start in the next video, inshallah, the first topic, which is the atomic structure. So I'll see you then. Good night.